if we can get this right, this could be a model that could be replicated throughout the Australia or probably even the world working with Aboriginal people. The way this project's being done and the equitable approach and the ethics involved are very important to me and very important to Pollination. For the first time, traditional owners are co-developers and co-owners of clean energy development on their country. We're confident that this will deliver improved outcomes for traditional owners and also allow for lower risk and faster project delivery compared to other projects of this kind. Together, we're developing a solar farm larger than any that currently exists in Australia co-located with a hydrogen production facility on MG Country near Kununurra. The resulting solar energy, along with available power from the existing Oort hydro plant, will be combined with fresh water to produce green hydrogen gas. That green hydrogen gas will then be transported by pipeline to Ballangara Country around Wyndham and converted to ammonia, which has several important applications including as a fertiliser for agriculture. The ammonia will be used locally and exported overseas through the Wyndham port. Partnerships are very valuable and it is about working together and looking at what works for us and to be able to bring those value partnerships to be able to support our vision. The Aboriginal Clean Energy Partnership is completely transformational. It's going to place the traditional owners in the role of shareholder, not just stakeholder. We're changing the way the relationship happens with, with corporate Australia. We are capable of doing this type of development on our country not always opposed to development, it's just the right type of project. We want to create an autonomy, it's part of our trading uh, history with um, our law and culture. We're determining where and how our product is being showcased and have conversation about our country. And to me that's power within itself. This is our choice, for once this is our choice. We've seen the impacts of what the Dirty Energy Revolution has done, not only to our own country, but more broadly to the world. The clean energy movement is aligned to traditional owners' values and core responsibility to looking after country. We use ammonia for fertilizers. And so when we think about decarbonizing the food chain, Decarbonising ammonia is a very important part of that. It's going to be kind to the country that can make us much more comfortable in going forward with this project. It is definitely clean energy and it's green energy. This is how we want to do business. Clean energy gives us more jobs, hopefully provide houses, gives us the long-term aspirations. So I'd like to see this type of project for my community. It would be great. It will change Wyndham, to be honest. Giving them a future, changing their life. As an Aboriginal person, as a First Nations person, I want investments to go back into the people on the ground. It would be a good thing for the community. It would be a big project for the community. It's better than fossil fuels. It's minimal damage to the environment. It's a community investment, you know, within our, our, our tribal groups. If we can bring better resources in the health sector, housing and job opportunities as well. We're hoping to start construction in 25-26 and then have first product as early as 27-28, which will be one of the earliest projects of this kind in the world. We're beginning empowered. If we're leaving a footprint, this is the project we want to do it with. The opportunity for us to try and create a best practice model in our own backyard is a too good opportunity to miss. If you look at all our natural resources we have, it's a beautiful country. And that's the most important thing, the planet. How do we celebrate this without hurting it? And have something here for our kids we can't see today.